Poland is perceived globally has changed considerably in the last few years. Firstly, because our country enjoys an uncommon and very attractive economic stability. But should we be satisfied? Is Poland sufficiently prepared to compete and continue its progress? We hope that today's debates will give rise to ideas, which by small steps will contribute to Poland's growth and prosperity. In order to change you know, our economic model in 20 or 25 years, we have to start right now. We live in a world in which maintaining the status quo ante is a bomb with a long fuse. And to place the innovation very high in the hierarchy of the organization. The problem we have today is most politicians in Poland now are actually thinking about how to survive and prolong their political careers actually by not doing anything that's going to be too dramatic in terms of reform. Polish government should make bets even if some of them will fail. The major problem ahead is, uh, is uh, the cultural barriers which makes Poles understand uh, reality very strongly vertically image of a country that is modern, innovative, interesting, a bit crazy, still romantic, <laughs> but in the best sense. To understand how you can make Poland a great country is to look back into the era when it was a great country. Boosting the uh, empowerment of the amazing talent that we have in Poland. In my opinion, uh, the model basing on uh, low labour costs uh, is now almost over. We are facing the so-called middle income trap, so Poland uh, needs to find uh, measures how to jump over this, uh, over this trap. Poland has finally uh, started to be a locomotive of exports and to nurture this is a very patriotic but also a very positive uh, element. Your unique uh, experience can best be applicable in Poland. Do different uh, short-term employment contracts in order to maintain this linkage to, uh, to Poland. It would be very good for you and very good for Poland. Win-win situation. Your process young people and step by step protect them uh, before the uh, impact from the old people. <laughs> What brings me here for the third time is the energy which I sense here in this crowd of people that you want to change the world, you are open to new information, new ideas, you ask lots of questions, you are curious, you have this intellectual curiosity to learn and this is fantastic. It keeps you in touch with uh, the Polish problems, Polish perspectives and will help you to come back and uh, to improve the situation in Poland. It's simply amazing. I think the level of organization, the level of cooperation, and we're basically breaking stereotypes. If this is to be the Polish visiting card over the next 10, 15 years, Poles have got a lot of um, optimism uh, and, and uh, a lot of good things to look forward to. So that's uh, our insurance policy for the golden age. Young people, well-educated, with ideas, uh, flexible, um, with their intelligence uh, and preparation for new challenges. <laughs>